The military's DARPA lab creates stunning inventions to help our troops stay one step ahead of the enemy. Chip Reed saw firsthand how the team can make every movement in battle more effective. When Jason Carestus goes for a run, he gets a boost from a strange contraption he wears on his back. He calls it air legs. It basically feels like you have bigger muscles. Carestus, a graduate it, student at way. Arizona State University, walk, and Professor Tom Sugar are developing the device for the Pentagon. The power comes from a tank of compressed air, which is connected by pulleys and electronic sensors to braces on the knees. How does this pulley system work? We fire air and pull up on the person's leg to give them assistance at the right time. And then this goes back down and then back up. So basically, it's helping you lift your leg. Yes, it's helping you lift your leg so that it'll help you run upstairs, it'll help you run faster. And hike farther. We do envision an entire platoon wearing uh, wearable robots. These robots will assist them while carrying 100-pound backpacks. At this early stage, it reduces the load by 10%. The goal is 25%, which they say will allow the average soldier or Marine to run a mile in four minutes. All right, I think I'm ready. We were a and bit skeptical, so I gave it a try. Right. I'm just gonna strap on these knee braces right behind you, and you're just about good to go. Let's try running. Oh, I can feel it. With the help of air legs, even skinny legs like these can feel like cylinders of power. It's one of hundreds of projects at universities and companies across the country funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, also known as the Pentagon's team of mad scientists. Arthi Prabhakar is DARPA's director. Is that a little like herding cats? Actually, if they're great scientists and engineers, that's exactly what it's like, because you want the people that have immense creativity and are off chasing great ideas. DARPA was created in 1958 in response to the earth-shaking 1957 launch of Sputnik by the Soviet Union. CBS Television presents a special report on Sputnik 1, the Soviet space satellite. It was a huge wake-up call for the United States. What do you see as the mission of DARPA? Our core mission is breakthrough technologies for national security. For example, DARPA did key early research on stealth technology, allowing U.S. aircraft to evade enemy radar. But many of DARPA's brainstorms have had enormous impact well beyond the military. 45 years ago, DARPA did this sort of crazy experiment, which was to hook a couple of computers together and have them talk to each other. That was the beginning of the ARPANET, which became the Internet today. DARPA has played a vital role in hundreds of technologies, ranging from sophisticated prosthetic limbs for wounded warriors to GPS. They even developed many of the components in today's smartphones, including Siri. I found three locksmiths fairly close to you. Some of DARPA's wildest ideas come from nature, like their research on mini robots. This reminds me of an ant colony. That's exactly what it looks like, isn't it? Just as armies of ants work together to accomplish amazing things, DARPA hopes to create armies of mini robots for micro manufacturing. The gecko also caught DARPA's attention because of its ability to climb walls. It looks like he's hanging on with 10 toes, but when you zoom in, what you find is there are actually about a half a billion points of contact. So DARPA created a gecko-like material that easily supports the weight of a human. In this video, a Special Forces soldier uses it to climb straight up a wall, a technology that could one day be used in hostage rescue missions. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Washington. Isn't it spectacular what they're doing? Oh, it's unbelievable. But, yeah. I mean, these people, they're just looking at the future in such an interesting way. Yes. No, I love Chip's, uh, Chip's line, skinny legs can turn into cylinders of power <laughs> and still do miles, still make time. I just did the treadmill 16.5 yeah. with nothing on my back, so I'm thinking maybe I need to get one of those things. Yeah, that's Cylinders awesome. of power, I like it. Awesome. I like it.